This video is part two of three. If you haven't watched part one, it might get a little confusing. You can find the link to part one in the description below. Now that you have a basic understanding of sharding, let's try to do a simple implementation of the hash table. The idea is we're building a file uploading system and we have 10 ExpressJS servers. A single user uploads many files and those files will be evenly distributed across those servers. I already set them up, nothing fancy. You can check the code at the GitHub link contained on the description below. Now let's go ahead and open our environment here. You can either follow along or you can just watch. As you can see, we got those servers up and running already. Now let's go ahead and open our Python IDE here. And for this lesson, I'm using PyCharm. Now let's name our project here, data sharding. Wait for it to finish. Now that we're set up, let's create a basic structure here. An utilities folder, the hash table file, and the storage node class. Let's create a basic storage node here. I'll initialize this class with name, default none, and host. So name equals name and self host equals host. Now let's add our servers here. I'll just paste it in. And this is it. Now, if you're wondering where I got those server name from, they're actually localhost with alias. Now let's go back and start the hash table here. Start with the import requests. If you haven't, you need to install it. Port OS path exists. From utilities here, storage node, we want to import the servers. I'll start with the hash function here, which will take in a key and return the sum by the array key in UTF-8 format and hash that by 10. Now let's work on the upload method. We'll take in a file name. The index will be the result of hash function the file name here, and we'll grab in the node resulting from that index. Now let's set up a key value object here containing avatar as the key, which is our field name at the server, and open our file name here with read binary. Now let's set up a print statement here with information about the file name, which node is it going to, and the host as well, node.host. Now we're going to return request.post. So HTTP, the node host here, and the link, which is upload dash avatar. And the files here will be our file dot text. Now let's write the fetch function which will take in a file name and index will be the hash function of that file name. And then we grab the node by using that index on servers. And now we return request.get and get the link here, node.host and use the file name as well and get the returning text format. Now let's write a method here to create and upload. Let's do a simple for loop here for i in range 10. If the file, let's say the file name is pick i.text. The file doesn't exist. We're going to create that file. And remember, you're putting the X here to create a file. 
let's write some uh, content to it contents of file i and we'll close the file now and upload it dot text and there you go now let's create a method to get the file so get file let's do a loop here again until 10 and let's print the result of fetch the file name here pick text and that's it now we should be calling those functions let's get file here and create and upload the file now let's go ahead and compile and see what happens here let's put on the servers okay so you can see the files are being evenly distributed across all servers here and now it's going to get the contents of each file and return it to us now let's assume that something bad happened and we need to remove server A here let's find out which file is being hosted on server A and that will be pick 3 ok let's go ahead and comment this out now let's go back to the hash table since we now don't have server A anymore we need to change this from 10 to 9 because now we have 9 servers now let's go ahead and comment the create and upload here because we just want to fetch and let's see what happens now so since we changed the hash function now every file that it hashes returns a, a different index and this is the sort of error you can expect in a real world scenario in the next video you see how to overcome this error with consistent hashing please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video